Okay. Uh, how to do the sideways green head. I was just practicing this a little bit. Uh, and I'm pretty well consistent at it. Even after, uh, how, lo how long I've been away from this game. So here it goes. Uh, here's the whole thing all the way through. Okay. Uh, so sideways green head. One more just to show you how consistent it is. That's a little late, but I still got it. I got lucky. There's a very specific spot here that I'm jumping from. Okay, so uh, let's start from the top. Uh, this, let's get this guy out of the way. Okay, this, uh, there's like a little rib, like a little, like a little curved looking like rib that's coming out of this corner of this platform. I like to get uh, pretty much so that Arthur is perfectly aligned with it. Uh, the best visual I know is actually this crater right here. Um, but I much prefer to align from here because I want everything to be easy crouch jumps the entire way rather than having to walk to a spot and do an awkward crouch jump in the middle of a walk. I don't like doing that. So I like to align all the way from here. I use the, the, the corner right here, the corner of this little curved tip thing. Uh, this is not a crouch jump. This is just walking and jumping, landing in a way that I'm, I'm center with this crater in a crouch position. So like there, right there. And that's about the perfect spot for me. So now the important part, the actual kill of the thing. Um, I should probably put a better save state. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I missed the pause button. Let me try it again. That should be good. Let's try that. All right. This is a pretty good save state. Uh, all right. So uh, from here, three daggers as fast as you possibly can. Uh, make, their, make them as close to each other as possible. That way, any kind of mash you do when you actually get to the kill daggers is uh, going to guarantee you get the... Uh, all, all your button presses are going to result in something rather than a, a missed input. Oftentimes, the only time I ever fuck up this green head is if, uh, like, my, my daggers are, are spaced apart and fucked up from each other. Like, it's very hard to still get that kill if, like, some of those daggers go astray and you don't quite have them close to each other, you know? So, close to each other. Whoops, didn't jump. Close to each other. That way you make sure that all your mashing is good. Now, here's the key ingredient. <laughs> That uh, took me a long time to figure out. Uh, so there's the store, obviously. The store boost where you throw and you get a store boost. Uh, don't mash from that store boost. It was very tempting for months for me to go mash, 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 mash. That caused me to sometimes not get the earliest dagger. So store boost, but then let go and then mash. Try to time it so that you're, you're starting your mash as soon as the first dagger's off the screen. So it's let go, boom. And it's pretty consistent. Okay, uh, that should be about it. Oh yeah, and, uh, uh, just as an addendum. I recommend everyone does this. Store a boost right there. That makes, and not for these guys, not for the green heads, but for this motherfucker right here. You want to kill him in one hit, no matter what. Okay, that's it.